Hey guys, it's Wednesday, 12, 12 p.m. on August 26, 2020, and I finally am back with my computer, a quiet place to make a video, and an internet connection. I've been out of town for the last handful of months helping family do things that family needs help doing, and so here I am now finally able to take a look at this hurricane, hurricane season again. So here we go. For those of you not familiar with my channel, what I try to do with these storms is take a look at what we're being told on the news, the images we're getting from NASA, and compare them to what's actually measurable, the metrics of the instrumentation that's on the ground or in the water near the areas where these storms end up hitting. Oftentimes, more often than not, I have been able to demonstrate to you that although they do have strong wind speeds, we are not getting the wind speeds anywhere near what they're telling us on the news. In other words, there's a huge discrepancy between the fear porn they're telling us in the news and what's actually in the areas. Now, it doesn't mean there's not destruction. As I demonstrated in one of my videos in Mexico Beach, there's a vast amount of destruction that can happen in these narrow little areas, which only further warrants investigative research because these hurricanes are supposed to be up to 90 miles wide. So why some of these are only leaving you know, one mile wide, three mile wide devastation is worthy of our investigation. So let's take a look at what we're being told about Laura. Laura is supposed to be this image right here from NASA. This, this visible satellite image looks very dramatic, a full blown circle. And yet what's on radar doesn't look anything like that. So they're completely different images. Now this is why it matters. The, com the composite image that's being generated by the radar comes from hundreds of different sources to generate one image. It comes from boats in the water, radar on land, buoys in the water, all sorts of different sources, whereas this satellite image comes from NASA and one particular source supposedly out in outer space, and this is the image, which for some reason never matches what we're actually able to measure in the radar. So let's take a look and see what the radar is showing us. This is interesting because as I watched this develop over the last hour or so, as you can see, it takes the shape of a hurricane right before our very eyes. Now as the page refreshes, I want you to notice that this is not a full hurricane shape until right about almost there. Here it goes. Okay, now we have a full cyclone. As soon as this ends, it's cycle there. There we go. That's a hurricane shape. Prior to that, it wasn't a hurricane. Prior to that, what you guys saw is much like what I documented in the Hurricane Florence scenario or whatever, what's this one here? Hurricane Michael, where these storms develop off the coast of wherever they're going to hit and they take the shape of a hurricane just before they hit land. Now this is something I've demonstrated over and over again and it really is worthy of questioning why. Because what they're showing us on the news at the time, and I'll put the links in the description and you can watch these different videos. Um, in many of these I show, let's see, I think I show the news clips where they show us that there's supposed to be a hurricane that had just pummeled uh, you know, Cuba and the Caribbean islands. And yet what I'm actually showing you based on the radar is that this thing is forming off the coast of wherever it's going to hit just a couple of hours before it actually hits. So this was from 2018 with Hurricane Michael. I have this video here with Hurricane Florence, uh, the, the debut of the amazing buoy dodging Hurricane Florence, as you can see. Curious happening here. Watch how this develops on radar. The problem is, is that we were told that this full system had come from Africa across the Atlantic Ocean. And yet, look right here. What we see developing on the radar is this blip. Well, that's exactly what we have here. That's exactly what we have right here. See that? It's not a full hurricane here. If I move this back, you guys can see. These storms, for some reason, although we're being told that it's coming through the Gulf of Mexico in a full hurricane shape, no, that's, that's not what it is. And now there are people who say, oh, but in truth, by grace, it hasn't moved into the space where the radar image is captured. No, that's not true, guys. See here, and that's, that's a common comment in these videos that I make, but here's, here's why that can't be the case. See these little blips of clouds here? They're captured. If this was a full cyclonic storm, it would be captured because it, it's caught here. 
See the difference between this and this? This storm is taking shape right before our eyes over the last hour, and that is, that is significant. So let's go to the buoy data. Interestingly enough, we have hundreds and hundreds of buoys in the Gulf of Mexico. So we should see all sorts of registered wind speeds. Now, just to remind you, in case you don't know, a minimum speed for a storm to be considered a hurricane is 72 miles an hour, which if you are doing that with knots, because that's how wind speeds are calculated on buoys, there'd have to be at least 62 knots. So let's go over to the NOAA Data Buoy Center, because what we see here is a bunch of wind speed data from the buoys themselves. Now there was a very high gust of wind here that hit 83 knots, 69 knots, but Hurricanes are not measured in gusts of wind. They're measured in this column right here, which is sustained wind speeds. Now, it's not here anymore, but there was one from this morning that was 66 knots. I'm just going to have to ask you to take my word for it because it doesn't look like there's any sustained wind speeds that are as high as hurricane strength wind, which should make us wonder what is going on. Why aren't we getting any wind speeds of sustained winds that are close to hurricane strength winds. Like I said, I did see one this morning that was 66 knots. So let's just take a look here. 66 knots at sustained, sustained winds, which would be 76 miles an hour. Here's the problem I have with all of this. The wind speeds aren't fully hurricane strength. All the, the buoy data is not registering hurricane strength speeds at the present time all right so that's a problem number one now if i go to the place where the highest wind speeds were picked up that would be buoy number 42395 and i click on this and then it'll show us a map here where all the other buoys are in the water this was of great concern to me this morning when i noticed this look at this guys everywhere this hurricane is supposed to be happening which i'm not saying it's not happening but I'm just pointing out that everywhere that this hurricane is happening, I'd say, what is it? That's at least 60% of the buoys in the water in that area have stopped giving feed of data over the last eight hours. The red stations are ones with no data in the last eight hours. That means all of this information that we're getting is from a limited one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven, eight within this area. For some reason, all the buoys in that area are shut down. I don't know, guys. It, you know, I'm just going to give a little commentary here. I've noticed that people really don't care about facts that much these days. For the handful of you that tune into my channel, um, I know you guys do. But it, this should not be a surprise that people aren't really that concerned about facts. They, uh, they like fear. People like a steady diet of fear, and it's actually tragic. But... Anyway, that's the way it is. Uh, let's take a peek here and see if we can see the 66 mile an hour wind speeds I picked up earlier. Well, we've got, there we go. Here's the 66 mile an hour wind speed I picked up at 6.20 a.m., which was, let's see, GMT, um, six, or wait a minute, maybe this is Eastern time. I don't know, let's just see what time is. Oh, Central, okay, so this is Central. This is about 7.30 this morning. So there, there was a big gust of wind, sustained winds here um, at 66 knots. But it's since they've died down. Now, that could just be because it's approaching land. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. But the most important thing I want to point out to you guys is that we've seen this before, where the storm is forming off the coast of Louisiana or wherever in the case of Hurricane What's this? Hurricane Florence. It was developing off the coast of Virginia, West Virginia. What is this? Virginia and uh, North Carolina right there. You know, you watch this thing. It just comes right into, becomes a hurricane right before our very eyes. That's the same thing that happened with this one here, Hurricane Michael. So um, I'll play this as you guys can see this develop into the hurricane that it became. This is what we see over and over again. And then th that's not consistent with what the news has reported. The news reported on all of these storms that these were full-blown hurricanes f going up, 
you know, into the Gulf of Mexico as full-blown tropical storms or hurricanes. That's, that's not what we're seeing. And again, history is repeating as the storm tightens into a hurricane. We'll just have to see. Unfortunately, the instruments that we use to measure this are few and far between in terms of what is here to measure the wind speeds. The wind speeds are small. Let's just take a look here. The wind speeds here, this is the column we're interested in. Wind speeds and knots. The wind speeds of the active, they're 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour at the most. Now earlier this morning they were much higher, but no, we're not, we're not seeing the wind speeds for a hurricane for sure. But we are, we are definitely seeing the storm taking shape right before our eyes. So I'll keep you posted, guys. Have a good day.